Playwright August Wilson is, of course, one of Pittsburgh's most famous sons. His childhood home in the Hill District has been restored as an art center. And now, as John Shumway reports, many more connections to August Wilson are about to be on display right here in Pittsburgh. Anybody who calls himself an August Wilson scholar cannot resist coming here to, to look at the materials that are on file here. Dr. Sandra Shannon, founder and president of the August Wilson Society and a nationally recognized August Wilson scholar, is ecstatic to dive headfirst into the August Wilson archives. Whole new territory, whole new landscape for critical study of August Wilson. Heretofore, we've relied on published uh, articles, uh, interviews, etc. But to actually look at August Wilson's writing, to look at some of the unpublished scripts that I've never seen before, to sort of, you know, imagine what must have gone through his mind during the creative process. It's fascinating. The Society's Biennial Colloquium is happening this year at the same time the University of Pittsburgh's library system is opening Wilson's archives to the public. The stars align just so that we were having our colloquium anyway, and so why not partner with the university in celebrating the opening of the archive? Dr. Shannon sees the archive as a way to expand Wilson's reach. Yes, Pittsburgh, he's a Pittsburgh native, Pittsburgh loves him, but as a result of the archives, I think the world would love and appreciate him even more. And in that appreciation, she wants folks to do one thing in particular. I would invite people to read his plays as well. We're celebrating the man, but I'm hoping that the archive and all of the attention that it's getting will invite people to go back to square one and read his works. Read about the playwright, read about his life, but read about his American century cycle. For Dr. Shannon, being able to dig into the archives during the colloquium means everything. When I started, August was still with us, so I had him as a resource as well. He was very generous in giving me interviews. He also shared some of his unpublished scripts that are now in possession of the archives. And so I feel a special spiritual sense of full circle. I am where I'm supposed to be. John Shumway, KDKA News. Well, that's fantastic. Now, the August Wilson archives are now open to the public at the University of Pittsburgh Library System. And the August Wilson Society's Biennial Colloquium begins this Thursday at the August Wilson African American Cultural Center. It runs through Saturday.